All right, you room of wonders. Let's get going. Hey, help yourself. Well, uh, I'll do it. We have all heard a lot of rumors about so your I'm, so visit. I. Yeah, you have too. Can we get the truth about your visit yes, to you? I've heard two rumors. I've just heard a new one today on the, from the Daily Express that I bought 70 acres of land here. <laughs> Every country I go to, the press seem to think I'm going to buy 70 acres of land. I've just been to Greece recently and I thought I was going to buy land there and Canada, wherever. I've got no other land except for some in England and Ireland. But we came to see Kyoko, you know. That's I had to see Tony and Melinda, of course, but Kyoko was the axis point of coming, you know. And we've, been, we've had a nice seven days of peace. What kind of man are, are you really? I'm a nervous guy, you know. <laughs> Do you and Yoko um, believe in peace in our time? Yes. Yeah. I think we had this poster that says, war is over if you want it. We all sit round pointing fingers at Nixon and the leaders of the country saying, he, he gave us peace or he gave us war. It's our responsibility what happens around the world, in every other country as well as your own. It's our responsibility for Vietnam and Biafra and Israel war and all the other wars that we don't quite hear about. It's all our responsibility and when we all want peace, we'll get it. I support eight. humanity, you know. I don't belong to any left wing, right wing, middle wing, black panthers, white Christians, Protestants, Catholics and nothing. People have said we are naive for trying to sell peace like a bar of soap. But I want to ask you, is Mr. Ford naive? Or the soap powder factory naive? They're selling the same old soap that's been around for 2,000 years, but it's new blue soap, so we're selling new blue peace. And we hope some of you buy it, you know. The war is here now. And there's two ways of looking at it. Some people say, why don't you spend your money on posters or peace campaigns? Why don't you give it to the Biafran children or something like that? And we say, we're trying to cure cancer, and we're trying to prevent cancer and not cure it. Did you spend all your money? No, no, uh, I'm saying... They said that the middle of the, no. the Beatles made a lot of money. No, yeah, but yeah. Some, most the, the, the people around us made more and money than the Beatles did, I'll How tell you that. Many? None of the Beatles are millionaires. But there's a lot of millionaires that made million, became millionaires around the Beatles. You know the story. How long has it been? I don't know. We play everything by ear, you know. We try not to make plans. I don't really like knowing what I'm going to do for the next eight months. And uh, we just stay until it was time to go back and do some work, you know. Are you feeling comfortable out in there? Oh, it's nature? beautiful, you know. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And all the snow and everything. And we go walking in the garden and all that. It's beautiful. Or whatever, the farm or something. Today's fantastic. Oh, yeah. And all the colours and the sky and the mist and the... It's just a fantastic place, you know. And good vibes, as they say in this generation. Mm -hmm. Very good vibes around. You know. And just the people we met, we met very few, you know, but they're, they're straight, you know. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not as paranoid as in, in uh, the yeah, big cities, you know, and in other countries. They're less paranoid in Denmark. Mm 